You know, there's a handful of products in our line that are really versatile, have a lot of different purposes. The tire and rubber cleaner is definitely on that list. You've probably been using it to clean your tires and it really leaves them nice and black, but there's a bunch of other awesome uses for it. Like, for instance, cleaning the oxidation off of these little old bumperettes on this old Porsche 911 and the rubber that surrounds the bumper. You can remove oxidation with this product so well. In fact, in all of our entire product line, this removes oxidation better than any other product in our line. And that's not where it stops. It's the same product that I'd use to remove old wax or compound out of the plastic or, or rubber. I would use this same stuff for one of the best, most effective engine cleaners to remove oxidation from old faded door handles, mirrors. So I love a black, black, black tire, and this is the way to hit it. Tire and rubber cleaner, also suspension components, frame rails, anything that I wanna leave black, I go ahead and knock this down. So while I'm cleaning the wheels and tires, that's the perfect time to go ahead and grab your tire and rubber cleaner and do your rubber floor mats. This is the greatest product to turn those mats back to black. First rinse, spray. Then scrub. You ever notice sometimes you'll actually clean your floor mats? You think you're cleaning them, right? You brought them out and you hosed them off, but really, as soon as they dry, they look chalky and nasty. Tire and rubber cleaner, when you're done scrubbing, they stay totally black. They're nice and dark. Now these nice clean mats, I'm gonna let them go ahead and just hang there while I go ahead and wash the truck. So when you're washing your vehicle and you have your wheel and tire bucket out on all the tools that you use for cleaning your wheels and tires, that's the perfect time to clean your engine compartment, okay? The absolute best product for cleaning engines, in my opinion, are tire and rubber cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick rinse, blast it off with some tire and rubber cleaner, and then hit it with the brushes. For the areas that you can't reach, with the long handle brush that you wanna get with a softer brush, like here where there's painted areas, go ahead and use the soft bristle wheel face brush. That'll get in the next crannies a little bit easier. Now, contrary to popular belief, using a pressure washer to clean your engine is actually safer. Why? Well, a garden hose, you're just pouring tons and tons of water into the engine compartment, into all the electrical connections. It's unlikely that you're gonna hurt it. However, a pressure washer is a way better way to clean your engine compartment. It gets way more work done with less water. All right, so this is my buddy Jack's truck. He pulls up in front of my unit here and he says, Adam, you got anything for my mirrors? And I'm like, oh yeah, watch this. Boom, boom, two things. Wow, he goes, that's amazing. But now my door handles look like crap. I'm gonna teach you how to turn your black plastic back to black, okay? And this here, is our tire and rubber cleaner. This removes the oxidation, and this does quite a bit of the work. I'm just gonna use it with one of our shop towels. Thoroughly clean this door handle, making sure that I pull it open to get behind it. I'm removing the oxidation, okay? The oxidation that makes this black look gray. Take a look at that versus this. It's a good step in the right direction. In this case, I haven't lost enough pigment to warrant using the black trim restore, okay? I don't need to put black back here. I just wanna make it look rich again. And the way that I'm gonna make it look rich again is ceramic spray coating, okay? And I have the big applicators and the little applicators. On this guy, I think I'll be able to fit this guy a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this directly into the applicator and watch how this instantly darkens this plastic. It's gonna make it look rich and new. And by the time I'm done wiping it off, you're gonna notice that it will look even a little bit better than new, but not like it's been sort of armor alled or superficially hit with tire shine or something like that. Taking a clean towel, I just wanna remove any ceramic residue from the paint because I didn't just hit 
the whole truck. A very light wipe of the towel just to make sure I leveled it all off and make it look literally just like new. Again, this is not a high gloss type reality. That's not what this is for. This is for making your black trim look new again. So recently bought this pickup. I had to go ahead and have the hood repainted on this brand new truck. When they finished this entire panel and they had this plastic piece, they actually hit it with a buffer or with some compound and bottom line, it stained the entire outer edge of this piece of plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our tire and rubber cleaner, which is the perfect product for that. Spray just a tiny bit into this uh, utility towel. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go over this and just slowly go ahead and remove all that compound. If I get it on the paint, it won't hurt at all. So you don't need to be worrying about that at all. If you have to go over it twice, that might be realistic to get out some really uh, old ground in compound or old wax out of the plastic, okay? Now remember, once you remove it around the edges, the rest of the piece is also gonna look dull. So make sure you go ahead and take a little bit more tire rubber cleaner into a slightly larger area of the towel and then go ahead and finish off the entire piece because you wanna make sure and deoxidize all the plastic. Otherwise you'll have these super perfect looking outer edges where you remove the compound and the rest of the plastic will look funky. There's zero protection in tire rubber cleaner. It makes everything look black and awesome. It leaves it looking dark. However, you wanna make sure and follow up tire rubber cleaner with something. Now, whether you're using our VRT or vinyl rubber and trim dressing or something more permanent like our ceramic spray coating and our graphene ceramic spray coating is one of my absolute favorites. You notice I'm only putting it in one edge of the applicator. Why? Because I know that I'm gonna be going up against the painted area. I'm gonna go ahead and do the hood too, but I wanna polish that first. Ceramic spray coating now just in this applicator. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out and fill in this entire panel. Now that this black plastic is looking better than new, I just wanna remove any residue from around the outside that I've got on the paint. I'm just gonna give this plastic a little wipe down to make sure I've leveled it and there's no high spots or any kind of weird looking highs, lows. All of the black is now looking significantly better than brand new. In my garage on every single rack, I have a bottle of detail spray and 100% keep a bottle of tire and rubber cleaner because it's sure as heck, it's not just for tire and it's not just for rubber.